Welcome to this webinar on the FTI Air AODD air distribution system. The ADS is the heart of any air operated double diaphragm pump, and today we will cover differences in assembly between the metal and plastic air valves, how the air valve system works, and clear up some common misconceptions. There are very few parts in the ADS, and this simple design helps ensure reliability. You can see the air valve body is made of aluminum. You would remove one end cap, insert the valve carrier, which is anodized aluminum, into the air valve body, making sure that the grooved section is facing upwards towards the machined part of the air valve body. Next, insert the slide valve, which is made from carbon-filled PTFE. Make sure that when you insert the slide valve, the hollow section is facing out toward the machine part of the air valve body. It's very important the slide valve is inserted correctly, otherwise the valve would only cycle halfway and become stuck. The valve plate is then inserted into the air valve with the grooved surface facing up. You can also find the correct side by reading a little number which should be on the outward facing side. Next is to add the gasket onto the valve body. The grooves need to be aligned with the pattern on the valve body. This simple design requires little to no maintenance. If you need to do work on it, the valve assembly itself is easily removed from the pump without disassembling the entire pump. For a plastic AODD pump, the air valve is constructed of a glass fiber reinforced polypropylene. End caps are made out of Delrin with Buna O-rings. The valve carrier is made of an ultra high molecular weight polyethylene which is very stable and has the same groove as the metal valve carrier. While assembling, you only need to remove one end cap, then insert the valve carrier into the air valve with the groove section facing up, or visible when looking into the air valve. Then you need to place the stainless steel snap rings onto the end caps to secure them in place. Assembly from this point on is the same as the metal air valve. Of course, you still need to ensure the orientation of the parts is correct, for example, with the hollow section of the slide valve facing up. Here we can see the grooves of the ceramic valve plate facing up. And the Buna gasket oriented the same as the grooves on the air valve body. A simple design equals reliable design. The diaphragm shaft in the center section serves two functions. It connects both diaphragms and acts as the pilot valve. The pilot valve is responsible for signaling the pump when it is time to shift from one direction to the other. Using a turn shaft in our design ensures it always gives a signal to the air valve and has generous clearances to prevent clogs. The shaft is riding on bushings inside the center block, utilizing a proprietary TPE material and it's lube free. This simple system results in very low maintenance requirements and easy access to the air distribution system when maintenance is required. Here's a short looping animation of how the air valve actually works. It is a common misconception that compressed air is used to force the valve carrier to move up or down. We are actually creating a low pressure area at the top or bottom of the air valve depending on its position in the cycle. The low pressure area is responsible for the movement. In the animation, the blue line you see is compressed air going into the pump. The red line is exhaust air traveling out of the pump. In the center on the turn shaft, green circles appear at the moment the shaft is breaking the seal of the o-ring and signaling for the pump to shift back. Both the aluminum air valve body and non-metallic air valve body have very low effective maintenance costs and are very easy to maintain in the field. All that is needed in order to disassemble these air valves are a wrench for the end caps and four bolts that hold the center section together, and pliers for the plastic air valves to remove the snap rings. The whole air delivery system consists of only three moving parts, the air valve carrier, the air valve shoe, and the turn shaft. Again, fewer moving parts means less wear, less maintenance, and less downtime. Anytime you are pumping something that is flammable or if the pump is located in a dangerous area, choose one of our aluminum, stainless steel, and conductive polypropylene models that are ATEX certified. ATEX certification is for 2, 2GD, C, 2B, TX. These pumps include a conductive muffler plate, a metal muffler, and a grounding lug on the pump. ATEX pumps can be used anywhere in the world, and we can even provide you with a grounding wire. This option provides a versatile pump that is very safe. For more information or to get in contact with a distributor, check out our website at www.finishthompson.com or www.ftiair.com.